Hi guys, just going to do another pinhole camera made from a beer can or lager can as this is. I just thought I'd do a little nod to Atomic Shrimp who does a series called Strange Stuff in a Can where he buys all sorts of odd things that are in cans and um, generally opens them and eats them. Now, you may wonder, well, what's so special about this tin of lager? It's the date on the bottom. I don't know if we can see that clearly. 21st of January 2017. And they usually have reasonable length dates on them. So this pack of lager has been out in my garage since at least... January 2017, probably 2016. And I have just opened one of them and it was a little bit lively. So I'll just brush the dust off the top of it because it, so it's been out in the garage for a long time. So it's a bit dusty in there. So we'll open it up, see if it sprays everywhere and if it doesn't, I'll pour it in the glass, and I will drink it. As I say, the other one was a bit lively, so I'm doing it in the sink this time. Yeah, a little bit lively, not too bad. Don't want to waste it. Going by the date on it, you can probably guess that I haven't been drinking lager much lately. Like, for a couple of years. And I did just drink the other one, and it was absolutely fine. Well, obviously we'll find out in a few days' time if there's anything dramatically wrong with it. But, uh, yeah. So, if you want to see some really interesting stuff in a can, go and have a look at Atomic tr Shrimp said that wrong then, didn't I? Let's say it again. Atomic Shrimp. I'll put a link in the video description to his channel. This isn't a deliberate shout out. It's simply because I found these cans out in the garage. Thought they'd be ideal for pinhole cameras. And then thought, well, rather than throw them away or throw the contents away, I'll try drinking it. and stick that one on the um, radiator to heat up and drive any moisture out. And then this one. I've got to say, it tastes rather nice. I'd forgotten how nice it tasted. I mean, a lot of people will say uh, various things about the brand. And it does taste a little bit tinny, because it's been in the tin. But yeah, I think I can drink that. So I drank the other one, so shame to waste it. Got some rougher sandpaper here. It's still aluminium oxide. one done. The other one we're actually going to cut with a knife anyway. Right, this one we are just going to cut with a knife. 
so there will be sharp edges on this one. there right so that will go over the top of the other one but be careful because they're sharp What I'm going to do now is leave these on the radiator overnight because I thought I'd dried them out, but obviously I haven't. They're still dripping. And then all we need to do is mark where we want the pinhole, put the film in, put the top on. I don't know whether I need to put duct tape on it at all now but I will just one layer of duct tape and that should do it I left the uh, cans on the radiator overnight so they should be nice and dry inside now so we're just carrying on as we did last time We need to measure the middle, which I think is that bit of detail just there. I say the middle, between where the curves start. Yeah, that's five inches. And halfway between two, two and a half inches. It's that bit of detail just there. So we want to push the pin through. That's our pinhole in the middle position. We want the lens cap or shutter or piece of tape. We fold one end over a bit so we can get hold of it easily. And put that over there. Push that on there in a minute. So, need the paper. I'll turn the light off. You can probably hear it's raining outside. Although I do try and edit that out of the audio. Okay, that's our light sensitive side. So, we're going to curve it round. That way, so the light sensitive is on the inside. Remember where our pinhole is. There. So we want it to spring open. So the pinhole is not blocked by the paper, which would be a bit silly if it was. Oh, that's actually dropped in a bit further. Oh no, no, that is right. I'll just move it around a touch. Probably didn't need to be that fussy about it. So, can you see the pinhole in there? Just down there. Top on. Done. And a bit of duct tape around it just to seal it off. I can find the beginning. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
I suspect I don't even need the duct tape on here. So I think that's such a tight seal. That'll be fine. So there we are. That's our version 2 following um, Justin Quinnell's video and website. And there'll be links in the video description. So what we do now is we've got to go and stick that on something, tape it in place, tie it in place, whip that off and leave that bit somewhere else so we can find it again when we've finished what we're doing. So, yeah, stick it up somewhere and then six months time, three months time, come back again and see what we've got. But that's version two using the other half of the tin as the top. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.